The tools I'll be comparing are NX and Turbo Repo. They both operate as what I would describe as a smart build system. I'd be interested to see some benchmarks between these two tools. Challenge accepted. All right, folks, you might have heard this, that Turbo Repo is a new build tool to build mono repos. So you can have your applications in one single repository. And this allows for a lot of code sharing, especially if you're in the modern web front end ecosystem and even mobile ecosystem like React Native, NativeScript, Ionic, and so on. But especially if you're using things like Next.js, React, Angular, these mono repo tools are becoming super popular as you might have caught on Fireship's channel. If you don't know what I'm talking about go check out that video after this video of course so fireship talks about two repos and i decided to, i'm gonna test them out i'm gonna actually benchmark them to see which one is faster but a caveat here i've been using nx for the last couple years in my own projects and turbo repo is something i've never heard of before it's brand new so i was pretty excited to check it out maybe it's gonna be faster of course turbo repo is new so it doesn't have nearly as many features as nx does so keep that in mind when watching this video so in this video I'm going to do a performance test and it's a benchmark. And this is actually a test you can do yourself because the creator of NX, one of the creators of NX, Victor Safkin, uh, he actually created a benchmark. And this is a huge repository with 27,000 components, five different applications, I believe, are in it. It's just sample apps, so they're not realistic, but still it requires some time to build these. And it's a single repository with a single package, top level package.json file that has both Turbo Repo and NX installed. So you can compare them both against the exact same code base, which is really cool. That's exactly what I wanted to do, but he did it for me. So that's what I'm gonna show you today. By the way, he did a lot better job than I would have done. So thanks, Victor. Now we're gonna jump in and do this right here. So if you wanna get started with Turbo Repo, you can go here to their docs and just run this command. And when NPM actually works, this will start a new project and it'll scaffold out a new application, a sample application for you to look at. I've actually done that and this is what it looks like. So I have this folder where I have an NX repo, a Turbo repo, repo and then the large mono repo that contains both of them. So here's the turbo repo and uh, we have package.json file at the top level and you can see that we do have some scripts included and turbo is the CLI that's the latest. This is what you get scaffolded out when you run that command. Now they separate things by apps and packages, slightly different language than NX uses. NX uses apps and libs but the idea is similar. So under packages you have your config, TS config and then UI is uh, this library that was generated where you have your initial code sharing UI library that you can create and share that between the different applications that you have. So here's an example for a React UI button. And now the app can actually consume that. So here is a Next.js application that can consume the button just like that. Now I gotta say from playing around with this Turbo Repo does feel a lot simpler initially, but it's not nearly as powerful yet as what NX provides. So I'm sure the complexity of Turbo repo is going to grow as it develops more features. For example, look how easy it is to import a component. You just say import button from UI. Done. Seems simple enough. However, NX digs a little bit deeper than that. And what they do is they have libs. Uh, the folder structure is pretty deep in here, but you can also do the same thing where you have a button in a UI lib and you can uh, generate this lib. So I had no problem just using the CLI to generate a brand new library called UI and put a button in there. Okay. So when you import that button, everything is scoped to the namespace. So let me show you what that looks like here. So now the namespace is your mono repos namespace that you created when you start up the project. So you can't just import from UI, you have to import from at my namespace slash UI. But the idea is very similar. So this was my silly attempt at creating a hello world for these two, but I'm gonna spare you the details on that because we have this huge large mono repo now with all these applications. Here's five apps, five Next.js apps, and uh, there's a lot of pages in each one with a ton of features and we have packages. So basically you can scaffold out these new features and new libraries and share them with the applications in the other folder. All right, so here are some packages. Here's the crew package, for example, and here's a feature of that package and then the source code lib and then you have components. So there's 27,000 components that have to be built and bundled together. And that's what this looks like. Okay, now this is all in one package.json file, like I mentioned, and it has both turbo and the NX CLI in here. And 
there's the Narwhal workspaces. Narwhal workspaces, basically Narwhal is NX. Narwhal is the company that created NX. So they have the Narwhal namespace instead of the NX namespace. It's a little confusing. Turbo is a lot simpler. I admit, but with great power comes great responsibility. I'm going to run this benchmark JS file. Now this actually executes 50 iterations, which is pretty crazy, but you get a nice average at the end. So what happens here when you execute this? Well, it first executes the turbo build, which we can do ourselves here. So I'm going to say NPX turbo run build, and then you can specify the concurrency for the number of processes that happen at the same time. Here it's specified as three and NX actually specifies three as well in their config. So it's fair. Okay. So here is the total time that that took to build 2.9 seconds. Now what happens here when you do that It's going to cache the build. And then the next time you run the build process, it's supposed to use the cache in order to do the build. So it saves time supposedly, if certain assets were already pre built. Now, uh, Victor on the blog post that they've put out claims that actually turbo repo doesn't do that turbo repo blows everything away when it does rebuilding. And that's why NX ends up being faster. So I'm going to show you this. I'm going to show you each one of them separately, and then we're going to run the benchmark. And then you kind of know what happens. NX is faster, but why is it faster? Well, that's one of the reasons is because turbo blows everything away and rebuilds everything from scratch. But because of the way NX places its files and the way it organizes the project, it doesn't invalidate the cache every time you build. So 2.9 seconds. If I run this again, we get 2.5 seconds and again 2.5 seconds. So it's always around there. Now you might be wondering if the concurrency can be changed and I did play around with this. Let's say you have 10, which is actually the default value. It doesn't change the result much at all. We still get around the same even if you set the concurrency to one, which means run in pretty much serial mode, not in parallel. The timing result doesn't change much at all there either. There is another option and uh, you can specify parallel, which will run. I guess it'll use as many parallel tasks as it needs needs parallel overrides the concurrency flag. So we're still getting 2.5. Okay, so I've run this many times now we keep getting 2.5. Now let's run the NX version. And that is right over here. So by the way, you can install the NX CLI locally, but you can also run it through MPX just like this. I'm going to run that and I guess I need the time command because I can't see how long that took. So let's add the time command and it's half a second. Each time I run this is half a second. And I've run this now four or five times. As you can see, it's pretty fast. So you have your answer. But if you want to stick around, I'm going to actually run the benchmark and it gives a nice little report at the end. So that's going to be NPM run benchmark. And there we go. Let's see what happens. Now while it's running, I just want to mention one other thing that I really enjoyed about using NX is you can hide certain projects. So let's say you have a mono repo with a few projects in it. I don't know, maybe 10, let's say. And actually, I've done this on this channel before. If you take a look at my native script plugins repository that I've covered here before, that is a mono repo built on NX, you can hide different parts of the workspace and only focus in on the stuff that you're working on. So let's say you have multiple teams working on the mono repo, you don't want to see the entire code base, it's also going to slow down your editor, you can focus in only on the projects and the apps and the libraries that you're working on, have that show up in the editor and work on that as if you're only working on one app in one repo. That's what it seems like anyway. But really, you're working in a mono repo with a bunch of other projects. So you can restore the visibility of all the applications if you need to take a look at other ones, uh, you can build the application separately, or you can build them all together. But uh, Turbo repo doesn't have that feature yet. Now I'm not discounting turbo repo. It's a very nice project looks good. And I'm curious to see where they're going to take it. But as for the start, they are a little bit behind. And here are the times. So the average turbo time is 2732 milliseconds. So 2.7 seconds NX time average is 566 milliseconds. So about half a second. And then it says NX is 4.8 times faster. So <laughs> kind of funny that they included that in the benchmark test is just assumption that NX is going to be faster. I wonder if this benchmark is going to change anytime in the future. We'll see. Are you kidding me? I just finished recording my video and I go to Twitter and I find this tweet 
from Victor Sofkin. A quick follow-up, I discovered a small bug in NX that slowed it down and fixed it. Ah, uh, okay, I have to redo this test. I didn't do it 50 times, I did it five times, but the numbers are so consistent that it, at this point it doesn't matter. Here, look at this. NX is 9.0 times faster than Turbo. So average NX time went down from about 580 milliseconds to 280 milliseconds. Not bad. There you go, folks. If you found this valuable, I appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want more content like this, click on that subscribe button. Thanks a lot, folks. I'll see you next time.